Does your dog or puppy like to jump all over guests? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to teach your pup something called a shoulder target so that you can replace that jumping behavior with something more preferable for your guests. So stay tuned. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I am a certified professional dog trainer and I have helped hundreds and hundreds of pups and their parents live more peaceful lives together. All right, so let's talk about how to teach your pup a shoulder target so that you can replace that with jumping behavior. So step one, I'm gonna grab my clicker. I personally love the clicker ring because it's just easy to hold, easy to handle. I know a lot of people just don't like using clickers because they're hard to carry around, but this really makes it easy so you get the better so you get the benefits of a clicker without the drawbacks. I'll leave a link to this specific clicker, the clicker ring below, if you're interested. So right now, if I were to greet Zeke, hi, he would jump on me, right? And so what I'm gonna teach him instead is in order to get attention, like right now, he has to bump his shoulder up against my thigh and that's how he's gonna get pets from me, not by jumping. So step one is to take your teeny tiny tasty treat and we are going to lure him just face this way, right? So I'm not getting the full behavior from the beginning. I'm just trying to get him used to knowing how to follow a lure, knowing how to uh, face kind of parallel to me. Good. And then if I want him to kind of reset, I might toss a treat to the side and start again. And so see, this, is cr this isn't crooked. There we go. I might even give him some pets there. Good. And then just know too that Zeke is a dog that catches on very, very quickly. So if it takes a little bit longer for your dog, especially if they've never done lure training, don't feel bad because Zeke has already done quite a lot of lure training. So he knows how to follow a lure. Dogs don't always naturally know. Good boy. Wow. Step two is once they're actually going into the position of going to the side, we want them to actually start to get closer by touching our thigh, right? And the whole reason is that when they're to the side, they're less likely to jump because they're facing the wrong way to be able to jump on you. Mm. And it's okay if in the beginning you press your thigh out or your leg out a little bit. So depending on how tall your dog or puppy is. Mm. So I'm almost like bending my legs and I'm just clicking the feeling of his shoulder touching my leg. So that he starts to feel what that feels like, right? So I'm clicking that moment, even though I'm actually bending my knee, I'm clicking that moment where he's facing the side and my leg touches his shoulder. I'm just gonna keep repeating that multiple times. All right, once your pup is consistently touching their shoulder to your leg, then we want to have them start to add in some pressure because that pressure is what is going, and make sure you ignore all jumping. So tip while you're training this, make sure you are not accidentally reinforcing any kind of jumping because if I were to say no, off, or whatever, that would just be giving him exactly what he wants, which is attention. So I'm just gonna slide him some treats for making sure he stays calm. Anyway, sorry for that slight detour there. But the pressure of the shoulder to my leg is what's gonna get him to stop jumping because if he's pressing up against my leg, it's gonna be a lot harder to all of a sudden face me and jump. So how we teach that is now that they're regularly doing their shoulder to my leg, I am going to start to add in some shoulder scratches so that he presses into my leg and I'm gonna reward him using that pressure. So I might, so the second he leans in, I'm gonna click and reward. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do before I actually add, oh wow, so he kind of moved ahead, but <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do is start to take off my hand while I'm scratching to see if he keeps that pressure on my leg. So I'm gonna, 
scratch, lightly take off, and he's still pressing, so I'm gonna click that. Oh boy! And I might click, if he stays there, I'm gonna click, right? If he stays there on his own. Oh. Mm, I'm gonna release, click, like that. So I'm gonna scratch, then let go. And I might even like use my treat to encourage him. So I'm not gonna treat out here because then he's gonna leave, right? So I'm gonna treat from behind so that he's more likely uh, to stay there. And of course, if I go too behind, then he, pfft. if I go too behind, then he may, uh, if I go too behind, he might completely turn around. So I'm almost treating just so you guys can see like slightly behind. Oops, like that. So just keep repeating that, repeating that, drilling that in. Okay, so the final step is to put it on cue. The reason why we don't put cues in the beginning is that when we're luring, they're so focused on the lure, they're not gonna hear what we're saying. So it's kind of like if you have kids and they're playing video games and you're like, can you wash the dishes? Are you doing the dishes? Hey, are you hearing me? They block that out because they're so focused on their video game. Same with our dogs, when we're luring, they're so focused on the lure and they're better body language readers than verbal listeners. So I always say, to have a hand signal because that will make it easier for them and you'll want to have that verbal cue as well but you want to say the verbal cue first pause then a hand signal and then get him in the position but first i'm just going to do the hand signal since it won't be the full lure anymore so i'm just going to do my hand signal to the side so it's a sweeping point and then i'm going to get out my treat i'm just going to do this a few times before i add in come on it's a sweeping point So that was my hand signal cue. Now I'm gonna add in the verbal cue. So shoulder, I'm gonna give him scratches. So I'm still gonna include the scratches just cause he finds that rewarding. So it's just another way to extra reward. I find it easier cause then he's gonna start to do it. And eventually like when our dogs come home, we do wanna pet them, right? We're just kind of pet them from this way versus to the front. Shoulder. Good boy. So remember, it's verbal cue, pause, hand signal. They do the behavior, we click, then reward. Shoulder. All right, so the last and final step is to build duration. So to build duration, we're gonna continuously treat and then say all done when they're all done. Shoulder. I'm gonna click for him staying. And long before he gets out of it, I'm gonna say, all done! And then for however long you're doing it, you would slowly decrease the amount of treats you give until they're able to hold it for a few seconds without you actually giving them treats. Now, of course, just simply knowing a cue isn't enough. You have to actually practice in real life situations. So create mock guest visits where they can practice and you can really take your time. Make any cue harder or build more depth into a cue, you'll have to build up distance, duration, distraction. So are they able to perform a shoulder from if they're five feet away, you cue shoulder and they come running over? That would be distance. Duration is can they hold it for half a second or 20 seconds? And then distraction would be can they do it when an actual guest comes over? Or perhaps can they do it when a kid, a dog, and an entire family comes over and still perform the shoulder cue? So I go into more detail in my free on-demand webinar called The Five Biggest Training Mistakes and How to Avoid Them so you can live a more peaceful life with your pup. I also have a free Possum Parents Facebook group. It's free to join and you can join using the link below and you can ask your training questions to like-minded pup parents just like you in that Facebook group. And if you want more content just like this, hit like, hit subscribe, and let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. All right, that's it for today, everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Zeke, say bye. He's like, nah, I'm, I'm focused on the bone. <laughs>